The Kia Karens really impressed us with its practicality, its classy interiors and its lengthy features list when we drove it for the first time a few years back. However, back then we only drove the diesel and the turbo petrol version and not this 1.5 naturally aspirated petrol engine which is actually the entry point to the Karens range and it also accounts for a majority of sales. So over the course of this video, I'm going to tell you what it's like to drive and why you should consider getting one. But before that, subscribe to the Autocar India YouTube channel if you haven't already. Now let's jump straight to the heart of the matter, the powertrain. This engine, like I said before, is a 1.5 litre four cylinder naturally aspirated petrol engine that puts out 115 horsepower and 144 Newton meters of torque. And this is the same engine that also does duty in other Hyundai Group models like the Seltos, the Creta, and the Verna. However, unlike in all those other cars, in the Karens, this engine can only be had with a six speed manual. Since this is a naturally aspirated engine, it's more focused towards a smooth driving experience rather than outright performance. It also responds keenly to throttle inputs, which means you don't have to put much effort in keeping up with traffic. And speaking of traffic, it really does feel quite effortless to drive. The engine is super smooth, the clutch is light, the gear shift is slick and the steering is effortless to twirl. So yeah, this one feels right at home in the city. But like I mentioned before, performance is really not this engine's strongest suit. It doesn't have that nice, meaty mid-range punch that the other turbocharged engines of the Karens offer. On the road, the Karens' overall ride comfort is good, with the suspension doing a good job of smoothing out low-speed bumps. At higher speeds, it impresses with good stability and well-controlled body movements. Around the bends, body movements are kept well in check and the steering provides decent feedback, which aids confidence. Now, seeing as this is the entry-level engine, it's offered in the first two trims of the Karens, which is the Premium and the Prestige. This one we are driving is the Prestige. There aren't any badges on the outside to tell you that this is the entry-level version. However, you will be able to tell that this isn't the top-spec car as it rides on smaller 15-inch steel rims with wheel covers, gets halogen headlights instead of LEDs, and lacks chrome trim. And in terms of features, it's not like it's bare bones. You still get an 8 inch touchscreen with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, a digital instrument cluster, leatherette and fabric seats, six speakers, and much more. You're well catered to in terms of safety features as well. The Karens gets six airbags as standard, and this one also gets ESP, hill hold assist, a rear camera, front parking sensors, and more. However, there are two things that I really wish they had included at this price, which is a rear wiper with washer and electrically foldable mirrors. The Karen's 1.5 petrol is available in three colors, white, silver and grey, and it comes with Kia's competitive three-year unlimited kilometer standard warranty. Inside, the Karens greets you with a layered dash that looks and feels premium and the build quality in general is very good. This variant also gets a unique black and beige upholstery theme. The front seats are supportive and it's nice that it gets a height adjustable driver seat. The bench style second row seats are comfy and spacious and there's a good degree of adjustment too. The third row is also adequate enough for adults. What's also nice is that you get dedicated AC vents for all three rows of seats and the access to the third row is very simple as well. Both middle row seats feature a tumble and fold function but the one on the curb side gets a one-touch electric assisted mechanism that folds the seat out of the way automatically. With all rows up, the Kia Karens has a boot capacity of 216 litres. But if you want to haul some serious cargo, you can fold the second and the third row of seats and that will open up a massive 1164 litre space. The range starts off at 10.45 lakh for the premium variant, but this is the prestige variant which costs Rs 11.75 lakh. 
In fact, it also undercuts the top spec Ertiga ZXI Plus manual. That's a marginal difference between the two and the Karen's benefits from a roomier cabin, a more powerful engine and it doesn't lose out much in terms of features. If you want more performance, go for the turbo petrol. And if you plan on doing a lot of running, you will find value in the diesels. And both of these can be had with automatics for even greater convenience. But despite those advantages, it's not hard to see why more buyers opt for this base petrol manual. The lower price point helps of course, but you still get a decently equipped MPV that's comfortable for 7, practical and easy to drive.